5 Signs That You Have Been Bewitched How to Identify That You've Been Bewitched Hello my amazing viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Emmy's Corner. Thank you for always supporting by watching and sharing my videos, thanks to everyone also supporting through super thanks, may God bless everyone and send us marvelous help in Jesus name, Amen. Today, I will be telling us some signs that we've been bewitched. There are many people who have been bewitched physically and spiritually unknowingly. Some people have been bewitched through charms, voodoo, laying of hands, curses, money and so on. Bewitchment is when someone uses evil means like witchcraft charm, to enslave or to mislead a person. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 1, O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? I pray as you watch this video, you'll be delivered from every form of bewitchment in Jesus' name, Amen. I need money to buy food stuff. Who do I go to? Yes. I should go to Stella's shop. He's always boasting about his son. My son bought me this. My son did that. My son is rich. I hope she can borrow me some cash. Hello, Auntie. Good afternoon, Ma. Is that not Stella's son? You are right, Ma. Wonderful. I am even heading to your mom's grocery store. I have been hearing a lot about you from your mom and I am glad that you were doing well. I thank God for that, Ma. God has answered my mom's prayer. This God is good. I was even thinking of asking your mom for money to buy food stuff. I even said even if it's on credit, I'll beg her to help me. But, see how God ordered your steps to me. At least I won't die of hunger after seeing you. There's no problem, Ma. How much will be enough for you? My son, anything will be enough. I am not a greedy woman at all. You can ask your mom. This is $3,000. It's for you. $3,000? For me? God bless and provide for you. My son, you will never lack. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Ma. I will be going now. My mom is at the shop. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> I can't believe this is what Stella is enjoying. His son must be so rich to even dash out $3,000 just like that. Stella, my friend, guess who I met on my way here? I saw your son and he gave me money. What a good boy. You are so blessed. Joseph is such a good boy. God blessed me with a thoughtful and kind son. He takes care of me and makes sure I'm comfortable and happy. My prayer is that, he will marry a good wife that will value him. Is he single? My daughter is available, please connect him to my daughter. I like your son. I am not that type of mother. I will allow my son to marry who he likes without meddling. And besides, Joseph won't be around. He's traveling out for his masters. Who knows he might meet a woman that he likes and marry her. He's traveling out. What a blessed boy. To where? Harvard University. Wow. Congratulations. I hope I'll see him and thank him for today's gesture before he leaves. Yes. You can come to the house before next weekend. Thank you. Can you imagine Stella? So, my daughter is not good enough for her son. I mean... I expected her to be happy with my suggestion but she pretended to be a good mom. Jealous woman that doesn't have a daughter. She should be happy that I am even telling my beautiful daughter to marry her son. And why is everything good happening in their lives? Why is it always her son? I know what to do. We shall see. Joseph? Joseph? I use this money that you've given me to bewitch you. From today, I am your mother. You can only send money to your mother through me. I put you under a spell. Today will be the last day you'll help your mother. All the help you should render to her will be done to me. Ha 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 ha.
as I put your money in my cauldron. You'll never be free from me. Are you going to the shop? No. We have women's prayer meeting in church. That's good. Is Joseph at home? I got him some dried foodstuffs to travel with. He will be so happy. He has even been asking me of you. This is for you. Don't forget to call me when you get there. I won't. Thank you so much and please, be checking up on my mum for me. Take. Drink this. What is this? Why is it reddish? This is blood, I can't drink it. You must drink it. Drink it immediately. No. No. The blood of Jesus Christ. Why am I drinking blood in the dream? This is scary. If you see yourself having constant nightmares and bad dreams like buying in the dream, you see yourself drinking blood in the dream, flying in the dream, or you see a snake playing around you in the dream. That's a sign that you've been bewitched. If you see dreams that has to do with pollution, contamination or you're being injected in the dream. Someone is trying to bewitch you and you need to take action. They can also give you something to eat or to drink in order to manipulate your spirit or soul. Then you wake up with severe stomach pains and right there, you start feeling movement of things in your body. That's a sign of bewitchment. Number two, you see evil marks and wicked incisions on your body. Most times when you wake up, you discover either a part of your hair was shaven, fingernail cut or clothes missing, it is a sign of bewitchment. Please, don't just sit down and fold your hands when you see these signs. Remember, your dream is a revelation and the spiritual controls the physical. We can fix, rearrange and correct things through prayers. Bye mum. I'll call you when I arrive. Please do. When you get there, please see a doctor immediately concerning the strange movements you're feeling in your body. I will. Mr. Joseph, from the test result, we couldn't find anything in your ear. But if you're still experiencing those strange noises, then maybe you should be using an earpiece or stay away from noisy places. You are 100% fine and I am not seeing anything. Doc. But I feel sick and sometimes, I can hear someone calling my name when I am alone. I can hear voices. That's so strange. Maybe this could be spiritual. I think so. Number three, you hear voices but you don't know the source or who is talking to you. Sometimes, you can hear voices telling you to take your life, to commit things that are not good. Sometimes you hear someone calling your name and there's no one with you but you can hear them. That's a sign of bewitchment. Hello Joseph, my son. How are you? I don't feel well at all but in all, I thank God. Did you receive the money I sent to you? Yes. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing for me. I opened a boutique and I now live comfortably. You're welcome. I have a meeting with my supervisor now, I'll call you back by tomorrow. Sit down. Thank you sir. I am not impressed with your work. What happened? You're one of the best students we have but I can't believe what I just read. Do you have any challenges? No professor. Go and rewrite your chapter 2 and 3 again. Make it better this time around. Yes sir. What's going on with me? Since I came here, it's like I am a different person entirely. I don't understand myself again. I am a very brilliant student, so why am I struggling? I shouldn't be struggling at all. Sign number four, you used to be brilliant at school, but now it's like you're someone else. 
You feel it and you know that something went wrong but you don't know where, when and how. Everyone is overtaking you. You can't concentrate again and you lack focus, and that's why you forget things easily. It's a sign of bewitchment and that's because they want you to fail. Be very careful of who lay hands on you, so many people have lost their stars and gifts after that. Be careful of the altars you go to, so many destinies have been exchanged at evil altars. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name, Amen. I haven't heard from Joseph for some months now. He doesn't pick my calls and he doesn't call back. I'm worried about him and I don't know anyone that can check on him for me. Hello my friend. What's on your mind? You look lost. I'm worried about my son. I haven't heard from him for some months now. But he's been calling me. He even called today. God will bless that boy for me. He's been sending dollars to me. And he hasn't called his mother. Something is definitely wrong. It's like you're not happy for me. Is it because he's your son? He can't help others because he is your son. That's not what I said. I'm worried that he hasn't called me but he's been speaking to you every now and then. Was he the one that gave you money to open a boutique? Yes. That's good. I am proud of him. I raised the caring and thoughtful son. Something is troubling my heart, my beloved brethren in Christ. Please, I want us to pray for my son. I feel like something is wrong with him. He doesn't call me and when I call him, he doesn't pick my calls. Last night, I saw him being chained in the dream and I was trying to release him from the chains, then I woke up. I feel like his heart has been turned against me. I don't understand why but I don't feel good about this. That dream is a revelation from God and if you feel like something is wrong, then it may be true. Brethren, we are all going to cry out to God for our sister's son, that every spirit of enslavement is broken over his life and God should change and turn around his heart, he should remember and not forget the mother in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you Joseph, that whatever has made you to forget your mom is broken right now. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let every chains in your life be broken. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I set you free from every form of enslavement and bewitchment. Receive your freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. No. 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 I can't find the money. I can't find it. It is his mom. That wicked woman. Another sign that you are bewitched is when you see shadows of people near you, but when you look around, you can't see anyone. You feel like someone is following you or watching you or you feel like you are being monitored even in your dream. You keep seeing dead people in your dream. People that you know are long gone and their face is familiar, that's a sign of bewitchment. Joseph must be awake by now. Let me try calling his line. I hope he picks it. Hello mom, how are you? Did you get the money? No dear. You haven't sent me anything for some months now, but I don't care. I am just happy to hear from you. How are you? Then who have I been sending money to? I keep forgetting things. I'm so sorry, mom. I am so so sorry. I'm so happy to hear from you. Don't worry about money or who you sent money to. God will keep blessing you and whoever is trying to put you in bondage will go down. God is turning things around in your life. Amen. 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 Bewitched people operate under an evil control. They would not listen to good counsel. They are always involved in errors and do the wrong things. Their minds are closed to the truth. A bewitched person will experience continuous confusion of the mind, continuous fatigue, anxiety, distress, sense of emptiness and loss of self-control all because he is obeying a strange command. He or she may be having continuous accident, loss of income, loss of position, affliction with diseases and pains. 
In our next video, we will be praying against every form of bewitchment in our lives. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. God bless you.